Many stores that are in neighborhoods here in Tacoma that were never a problem before now have armed guards at the entrances, though it's mostly for show in the hopes that the visuals will help deter criminals. As the guards have told me themselves that they do not have much... They can't use much physical force. They can barely even keep them there in the store until police arrive, you know, because of the way the laws are. In other words, the thieves could sue. Even here at the local Fred Meyer here in Tacoma, um, I've seen people swarm in, take as many things as they can carry, and leave. In Seattle, it's even worse. In some locations, Walgreens locks up a whole number of just regular items. And man, if you look at places like San Francisco, you know, so many businesses closing and moving away. And as weird as this sounds, even the way people drive has significantly become more aggressive. People taking stranger chances on things. You know, with younger people regularly pulling stunts that you'd expect from a jackass movie or something. Just a few days ago, there was some jackass behind me. Um, can't tell how old they were. I didn't want to look that long because I'm trying to drive, right? And uh, they're pulling these things where they're making, they're moving the wheels this quickly back and forth to extremes, taking up almost the entire width of the two-lane road. Did this for over two blocks, and I eventually turned off so so he wouldn't be behind me anymore. I'm just, I'm not gonna mess with that. Did the turn up kind of fast because I didn't want to break in front of him, you know? Is he going to be able to handle it? <sighs> anyway, I just see shit like this so much more often over the past few years. Then there's all the burnout parties that just randomly happen. One of them was just on one of the main streets, uh, uh, just, just a block over from where I live. Just so many more people caring less about the laws and standards and all of this stuff. Perhaps a lot of this is just the effects of late-stage capitalism. I've heard some people claim that we have these effects because we have more freedom, and then we should be proud of that. Yeah, there, there's plenty of very free European countries that don't have these problems, not like this. And when people who have the potential to be criminally minded, when they see that a whole bunch of these lesser crimes, especially theft, have essentially been decriminalized, in the sense that the criminals really never see any jail time. And when people see this, why not take it a step further when it comes to criminality and a step further when they just they keep seeing that nothing really happens at some point too large of a percentage of the general public isn't going to feel like following any of this stuff either we're the opposite of most asian countries Is Japan fascist for having a more monolithic society? With shared standards, customs, roles, rules, and values? Is it authoritarian? They have a pretty heavy-duty honor culture, which could definitely be considered oppressive. But is it fascist? Is it authoritarian? Because it's not necessarily the government that's doing it. At least for the most part, anyway. And now for something completely different. If you do a search on white people smile eye contact, You'll find quite a handful of people asking why so many white people smile when they make eye contact with someone. They'll say the smile is fake, so why do it? Well, it's about being polite and civil. It's a greeting. It's a way of showing that you do not have bad intentions. It's saying, I'm friendly. On a more pretentious sort of deeper level, it's a way of instantly expressing that we strive to represent the good parts of humanity. Regardless of the things that we may be going through which might suck, we may feel like trash mentally and physically, but we can still muster up a smile when we make eye contact with someone. Many of us find being friendly, polite, and civil to be of the utmost importance. People who are not any of those things, especially the people who constantly are saying they're being disrespected, while they offer no respect to just about anyone, yeah, people like that rightfully make people nervous, and it might even make some people a bit scared. I much prefer fake smiles over 
constantly feeling like uh, there's going to be some sort of conflict. I'm not a big fan of conflicts, especially ones that are physical, because I feel pretty inept in those areas. I think some cultures thrive on conflict. It's the notion that being passive should never be an option. To instead, tackle everything head on. Head on, applied directly to the forehead. No matter what the results are. I suppose Karen's would fit that description as well. I don't know, but I'm rambling. Thanks for watching.